about a year and a half later, I was looking at a Newsweek magazine, and it was during, I guess, the 70s, yeah. So there was a picture in Newsweek of a man, a policeman with a guard dog, in the back of a subway train. And I looked at the picture, and suddenly my mind put on that picture. It took the cop away and the dog away, and it put me in a pair of pajamas from that bedroom. So I was on the subway in a pair of pajamas. And suddenly, like, yes, you know, I, my vulnerability could be pres presumed now, but I put a man in my mind on the subway in this place, then the chair next to the policeman who sits there. And suddenly I was thinking of a woman stabbing a child with the pajamas on. For some reason. And I said, that's the painting. That, that's my relationship to this woman. The thing was, I would make these panels and thicker panels. And so the man was feeling, the tall man with the pajama, he was feeling the wounds of the woman standing. A voodoo doll. And at the end, he wakes up, and the woman is touching his hand. Um, and he wakes up in the room with a blonde woman. So, I mean, I don't know if that answers anything, but it's a way of how you unexpectedly see some image that ignites something that was waiting for you. I, I really have a feeling that I've always felt this deeply that my paintings are very familiar to me when I finish them. It's like there's a coloring book that was put in my soul, and I'm simply putting color on the lines. It's spooky, but true.